Having clean menus can make things more efficient for your servers. In this video, we will provide some best practices on how to get the most out of your menus. First, let's take a look at the toolbar. The toolbar displays at the top of your menu screen. To view or make adjustments to the toolbar, navigate to Point of Sale, System Setup, and Design Area Toolbar. Select the area, then assign up to eight toolbar functions utilizing the most common tasks and functions that would be helpful to your servers. Many of the functions that you utilize as buttons on your menus can be added to the top toolbar instead. This will make room on your menus for the other buttons that you need to add. After you've made your adjustments, go ahead and click OK to save. Now let's take a look at our menus by navigating to Point of Sale, System Setup, and Quick Setup Menu Design. And select a menu. When adding color to a menu, avoid using so many different colors that it kind of actually hurts your eyes to look at. Like in this example, it can actually make it more difficult for your servers to find the items they are looking for. Let's take a look at another example. If you do like to use color, we recommend grouping similar items together using a color scheme. As you can see in the example of this beer menu, all bottles are in one color, all cans are in one color, and all drafts are in another. This can visually assist your servers with quick selection based on the color of the buttons. You can quickly change the button color by selecting the color, then selecting the applicable buttons, and click cancel once you've adjusted your buttons. Depending on your menu, it can also be helpful to add titles to section off separate items as you can see in this example. You can make titles stand out by utilizing all caps and adding an underline. If you like to link to other menus, you can also make these menu buttons stand out by using similar options. If you have any unused buttons that are just taking up space on your menu, you can replace the buttons with using either the not used or hidden functions. Otherwise, take advantage of those extra buttons to add new items. If you have run out of buttons and need more, you can split a button by selecting the button and clicking split button. Select the button split option that you'd like to use, then click split it. Keep in mind if you are using smaller button sizes, it will be handy to have shorter descriptions appearing on those buttons. If you need to rejoin a button, click rejoin button and select the applicable button. Did you know that you can set the item lookup button to a specific sales category? You can do this by selecting the sales category within the edit menu button screen. The benefit of specifying the sales category, the item lookup button per menu, means you don't have to look through your entire list of items. Instead, as you can see here, you will only see the items within the specified sales category. This will make it much quicker for your servers to find the item they're looking for. Instead of linking to a menu within a menu, the Display Order Menu Tabs feature allows you to create a customized menu display bar in addition to your main menu tabs. You can add menus to the menu tabs by double-clicking a menu, selecting multiple menus by holding down the control key on your keyboard and using the arrow, or selecting a range of menus by using the shift key on your keyboard. These menus will always appear in the display order menu tab at the start of a chip and will be locked to the screen. The menus will be displayed left to right in the display order menu tabs based on the order from top to bottom in the right pane. You can address the order of these menus by utilizing the up and down arrows. Move multiple menu tabs at one time. If flagged, when you select the left or right arrow to view more menus on the chit entry screen, it will move a full group of menus and the number of menus displayed will be dependent on your screen resolution. If not flagged, when you select the left or right arrow, only one new menu will appear at a time. Clicking the test button will allow you to view and test the tabs within the chit entry screen. And OK to save. 
You can also test out your menus by clicking the test button. If you've made any adjustments to your menu, don't forget to click OK to save. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more how-to videos and don't forget to subscribe.